If you want to analyze different types of data, which are different from market data, for instance, if you want to trade on cryptocurrency, which is something which is very trendy, and you want to get your data within your Jupyter notebook or your Python scripts as fast as possible, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to call to call this data online. And we are going to use, such as what we have done in order to get market data, we are going to use Yahoo Finance API. Essentially, how the API is gonna work, we're gonna have our Python script here within our Jupyter notebook. And what we'll do, we'll just request the data to Yahoo Finance API. Literally exactly how we have done in order to get market data. I'm gonna let you watch this video again if you want to know more about how to get market data. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna teach you how you can get the right tickers that you're gonna have to insert within this Yahoo Finance API. And in order to do the request, we are going to use the same form, which means yf dot download and insert our three arguments which are the first argument gonna be the ticker, the second argument gonna be the period, and the third one gonna be the interval. Once you're gonna have set up these three arguments, what you're gonna do is that's gonna send a request to your finance API and give us the data with a precision of 0.01 seconds. Literally on the markets, that's even more efficient than Bloomberg API, even if that Bloomberg is very, very expensive. Uh, the performance of Bloomberg, mainly about cryptocurrencies, are below Yahoo Finance API. That's why within this video, we are going to learn how we can download market data using Yahoo Finance API. Okay, let's start. As usual, we are going to start by importing NumPy and Pandas, which is going to be our raw packages. After that, as I explained you, we're going to have to call Yahoo Finance API. And we can now start with our first request. Essentially, if you want to have data, we're going to have to type data equal and set up the same data structure, which is Y Finance, sorry, yf because i call it i import it as yf yf dot download select and if you remember what we have just said within this graph the three arguments that we're going to need are the ticker the period and the interval you can find all this information within this link pi 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 project Y finance and you're gonna have all the different arguments that you can bring inside and here what you're gonna do we're gonna insert three arguments the first one gonna be the ticker we're gonna have to type tickers equal and set up a ticker after that we're gonna have to set up a period for instance that can be one day two days five days let's say we're gonna set up we want the data for the last five days and the last point is going to be the interval. And the interval that can be one minute to five minutes, 10 minutes. We can, we can, for instance, set up an interval of 15 minutes on the last, let's say the last day. Okay. Execute. Okay. Looks. Ah, I forgot to set up the ticker. And in order to get the ticker, there was nothing more easy. Because it's the Yahoo Finance API, what you can do, for instance, if you want if you want the data about the Bitcoin, what you're gonna do, you're gonna just type Bitcoin, okay, Bitcoin USD. You're gonna set up copy and paste the ticker which is between the parentheses. Go on your Python script, pass the ticker, and execute. And now if you print the data, you will see that you have your data for the Bitcoin. 
here are the open price, the higher price of the day, the lowest price, the closing price, and the adjunct close, plus the volume each 15 minutes. And you can even plot this data. And for instance, if we look at what time is it right now, let's type what time is it in, what time is it? As you can see here, we are like city of Westminster in the UK. I'm living in London. It's Thursday, 14th January, 2029, 2021. It's 10.27 PM. And if we rerun our script, you will see that the data given is like 10, 26 and 0, 05 seconds. Yeah. As you can see, there was little, there was little gap, which is slightly higher than, if, for instance, if you want to download market data, but the precision is still very good. For instance, if you want to download um, cryptocurrency data, the gap is much higher with Bloomberg. Okay, let's continue. And now, for instance, we can just like plot this data in live. And I'm gonna show you some quick trick. Okay, let's import Plotly in order to get our our graph. We're gonna start by declaring the figure. After that, once we have declared the figure, we're gonna set up our candlesticks. And I just copy and paste what we have done in the other video concerning like, like the dictionary and the slider. It's what you're gonna add right here. We are going to add a slider and a dictionary. And what you're gonna do, just asking Plotly to show the figure. I'm not gonna be back on how to build a graph. You can watch the other video. I'm gonna try to be as sharp as possible and ask to show. Up, and you have your Bitcoin data in lifetime, almost. For instance, if you look uh, today at 2.30 UK time, the price like uh, uh, had a huge gain during this time with a low of 39.26K and a max of 39.69K, which is interesting. You can slide, you can, diff you can choose whatever point you want. You can focus on any of these points. Yeah, that's what I like with Plotty is like, because the graph looks very, very good. Uh, let's just change the Y axis title. It's not the stock price, it's like the Bitcoin price. And again, for instance, if you want to download the data for another cryptocurrency in order to apply your algorithm, what you can do, for instance, let's say we want the Ripple. Ripple USD. Okay, let's maybe type XRP USD. Okay, as you can see, that the ticker just XRP USD. Or let's say you want the price. Let's take let's take this example. You want the price in Canadian currency. Yeah, XRP CAD. What you're gonna have to do again? Just copy and paste XRP CAD, which is between the parentheses go on your graph and just change what we can just change that xrp but instead of usd you want your cryptocurrency price in canadian dollar um, and let's plot it and here you have the price but instead of usd you're gonna have canadian dollar and you're gonna have like you're gonna have the price of your cryptocurrency as you can see, that's very easy. In one line of code, you can have a full data set of data. If you want to know more about the different period, how you can set up date, you can go back on the videos specified on Yahoo Finance. You're going to have all the details. Here, it was just like one extra video that I wanted to give you in order to download cryptocurrency data. Because as you can see, like many like in the last days, uh, cryptocurrencies took more than 100% on, on average. That's why I'm going to also create extra videos about how to analyze mark, how to analyze the cryptocurrencies using algorithmic trading. 
and that's gonna be even a new chapter and yeah that's why it was just like a gift and wanted to propose you to know how to download very efficiently cryptocurrency data i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next chapter